Hello and welcome to the third tutorial for Edware. So today we're going to be talking about our first set of blocks over in the block control panel, the control blocks. Now the control blocks are all actions. They just tell Edison to start doing something or to do something. They don't actually tell Edison how long to do those things for. So most of the cases we're going to look at today, we're going to be using a yellow block as well, which is this wait event block. This wait event block is a duration block and it tells Edison to kind of stop in the program at a certain point and wait for something to happen. Usually it's a number of seconds to pass, but we can also set it to a bunch of other things. But we'll talk about that more in a different video. So we're going to quickly go through all of the control blocks that we can see up the top here. So first off we have flash LED. This literally just turns an LED on or off. So in this case we have the left LED on and if I place a uh, LED down over here, we can turn that to left LED off. We set this to a time, let's give that one second. This is now going to turn the LED on, wait for one second, turn that LED off, and then wait for zero seconds so the program is going to end. So that's that little guy, that's uh, quite simply quick and easy how you turn an LED on and off, and it shows you exactly how these red blocks work. They take uh, a block and it just does an action and then we need a second block to set a duration for that action. Then we've got uh, the play beep. This literally just plays a single beep out of Edison's speaker. So in this case it's going to turn the LED on and then beep just as it's turning the LED off. Next up we have play music which I'm just going to place down at the start. So here you can either play a single musical note or you can play a tune string. And the tune string has to be made up of notes that you can see down here and numbers. And it ends up with 16 notes that you can play at any given time. We're just going to get rid of that one really quick. Then we have uh, Detect Obstacle and the Line Track. And I'm going to do both of these together because these both are a very similar thing. So this is how you turn on Edison's ability to do these things. So the Line Tracking module turns on Edison's little LED underneath Edison and also takes the first reading so that Edison can start uh, doing line tracking. But you then need to build a line tracking program to actually do that line tracking. Next we have the detect obstacle. Once again, this just turns on Edison's obstacle detection and then you need to use it later on in the program such as in a wait event or something similar. Then the last couple of blocks we have here, uh, the drive blocks and also the transmit data. Transmit data literally sends a constant or a variable over to another Edison and then the single drive and the dual drive blocks get Edison to move around. So if we place down a dual drive block you can see that we've got a bunch of settings down here so we can change the direction forwards, backwards, forwards, right and forwards, left. These are one wheel moves and the other one doesn't so Edison kind of pivots around one wheel. The spin right and spin left, one wheel moves forwards, one wheel moves backwards so Edison spins around a middle point. Back right and back left, the same as forwards right and forwards left, and stop is of course stopping the wheels from turning. So to kind of make a complete program, we're going to go forwards at a speed of 10, there is obviously a lot of speeds in there, and then you can place down a stop after a wait event, and Edison is now going to drive forwards at speed of 10 for one second, and then stop. So there you go, that has been a quick rundown of the red blocks, hope you guys have enjoyed that, and we will see you in the next video.